Hello friends and today let's start with theory of machine 2 and we'll be stud studying the gyroscope in which we'll be studying today ship. There are basically two types in the ship. I will be only teaching you how to solve the numerical for the examination point of view. You will automatically understand how to solve the numericals. So in this particular figure you see here the case given is ship is pitching downward. Now, first of all, this is a ship. There are three types of motion to the ship. That is rolling, when it just rolls side to side. It is pitching, when it moves up and down, this is known as pitching. And steering, when it takes a turn. So there are three motion for a ship. Now, it is given that ship is pitching forward, bow is falling. There are two terms for a ship, for the for forward most part or the front part it is known as bow or fore fore as in forehead which faces the front part of the body so you can remember that way that fore is for the front part stern or aft for the rear part or the back part of the ship there is also port and starboard so these are the four terms you have to remember carefully in the examination because these are the terms used to explain where the viewer is seeing and in which direction the rotor is rotating. Now, what happens in these types of numericals are a force is being applied to the ship, the ship is moving in some direction and you have to apply opposite forces to balance the ship. This is a summary of gyroscope. So, the first case is ship is pitching downwards. This diagram is first angle method that is front view top view side view forget this triangle for the time being i'll teach you later so pitching is always evident in the front view that is in this view you can see that a ship is going up or ship is going down okay you cannot see it in the top view or the side view so we draw the diagram this is the mandatory diagram that is this is the format you have to draw the diagram always now it has certain elements that is active couple and reactive couple this is the couple which is acting on the ship naturally or forced this is the reactive couple you apply to the ship to balance it okay like if you're falling on a bike you take it or pull it out to maintain your balance same way active and reactive couple reactive couple is always in the opposite direction of the active couple simple okay let's see what it is all about now you are seeing the ship from the rear end from the back side and the rotor is rotating in the clockwise direction while the ship is taking a turn simple the ship is falling down bow is falling now when you're seeing from back side now you may be knowing that's that it depends on thumb rule or the right hand thumb rule this is the right hand thumb rule it is said that you are seeing from behind that is this portion from this portion you have to take clockwise so clockwise now this circle represents or my fingers represent the clockwise motion of the rotor see clockwise and this is anti-clockwise do you see because anti-clockwise is this and this is clockwise and seen from the behind this is the front this is the behind so from behind you see it clockwise and my thumb is pointing in the right direction so this will be O point and A point will be on this side so O to A will be facing right side let's see what the diagram is so from my explanation my thumb was facing this side and my fingers were curled I was seeing from this side in the clockwise direction that is I rolled so thumb was outside and the bow is falling that is that is bow will go down like this that is in this direction my hand will go down and if it goes up then my hand will go up so up and down I hope you understood how to draw this diagram you have to see in which direction the rotor is rotating and from which view you are seeing this diagram is very important you have to draw it always now this is the standard diagram when the rotor is rotating in the clockwise direction and bow is falling. 
the active will be in the clockwise and reactive will be anti clockwise <clears throat> this is the first case the calculations are pretty simple and two step let's see the second case and we'll be seeing numericals in the next session now this particular diagram is when you are seeing the rotor rotating from the rear end but the bow is rising that is ship is going up or ship is going down the ship is going in the upward direction now again we are seeing from behind this and the ship is going up so we were seeing from this point pointing towards the right and the bow is going up so you connect this diagram and you get a triangle now all that is left is the diagram in this case when the rotor is rotating in the clockwise and bow is rising active couple will force the ship to turn over or rotate 180 degree this way so you apply a reactive couple and try to bring the ship down that is reactive couple so active and the opposite will be reactive these are the two cases for the ship let's see a numerical a simple one with lesser calculation for better understanding now in this numerical 8.5 we have been given a turbine rotor of a ship has a mass of 30 ton a radius of gyration of 600 mm rotates at 2400 rpm in clockwise direction to be noted it is a clockwise direction when viewed from the aft the ship pitches through a total angle of 15 degree 7.5 above and 7.5 below in horizontal the motion being simple harmonic and having a time period determine the maximum gyroscopic couple on holding down bolts and the direction of yaw as the bow rises so from this particular question you should always observe three things the rotor direction from where it is viewed and where is the bow going so in this case the bow rises it is clockwise direction viewed from the aft that is the rear end i told you to remember stern and aft bow or fore fore and bow stern and aft port starboard these are the four terms you have to remember always now seeing at the given data mass was given in tons we convert it to kg k was given n is given from n you can calculate omega that is the angular speed angular velocity radian per second phi is given now the the ship rises 7.5 above and 7.5 below assume to be a simple harmonic motion so we take phi as 7.5 degree now calculate two terms omega p and t t is i omega omega p i can be found out mk square omega has been found out omega p is remaining omega p max is 2 pi phi upon tp phi should always be in radian because our omega is in radian mk square and omega p should be in the radian so 2 pi phi that is radian per second you get angular velocity again angular velocity and i so i will be mk square that is mk square this will be the first bracket into omega into omega p max so you get an answer in newton meter this is the final answer this is the numerical for 10 marks now comes the diagram without looking at the diagram i can say that this will be the ship this will be the top view of the ship this will be the front view and here will be the side view from which we can view the rotor in the clockwise direction here will be the triangle now we are looking from this side when the rotor is rotating in the clockwise direction so in the clockwise direction viewing from the behind my thumb is pointing towards the right so o to a the bow rises that is so this will go up and this will be joint so o to a this to this you name it b so o a b will be the diagram simple yes now when the bow rises i told you it turn it tries to overturn that is this will be the active couple 
this will be the reactive couple simple here you can show this is the phi that's all my friends this is for 10 marks pretty simple numerical we'll be seeing more of it in the coming video stay tuned and keep subscribing